do yeah. is adore you all of the time. I like to <laughs> some snow last night couple inches I think nothing real serious down here in the shop it is just over 30 degrees I need to put some fuel in the heater and get it warmed up down here and I'm going to be doing something a little different today managed to spill a little here a couple of those cans tend to do that a lot more than the others for some reason that ought to take care of it gonna let it heat up in here a little while and then I'll be back down to do, like I said, something a little different at the Fox shop today. Also need to get some more fuel as all of my fuel can, all of my fuel cans are now empty. So like I said, it is a chilly day here today. Current temperature is 17 degrees. And it's just cold. Snowed last night. The wind has let up a little. It wasn't terribly windy to begin with, but enough to make it feel even colder. I'm gonna head on back up to the house and let it warm up in the shop. One hour later. Well, I got down here to the shop and it's struggling to get warm down here. It's uh, about 60 degrees, but that's not too bad to be working in the shop. So like I said, going to be doing something a little different today. Been playing around down here and I am going to make, I guess you could call it junk art, but I am going to make something out of a spark plug, some scrap metal, some little bits and pieces and turn it into something. I'm going to make this into an airplane using just a spark plug and scrap metal. So the first thing that I need to do is decide how big I want the wings to be. And um, I'm gonna make this one with the wings yeah, about like that. And then we'll cut again over here. And I'm gonna make this a biplane. So I need to cut two wings out of this, which to do that with, I'll just mark it off with this, uh, this little pencil that I have. I'll just mark this off and then I'll come in and cut it with my cutoff wheel. two wings here that one will go on top one will go underneath figure out exactly how I want to do that and then I'm gonna put bracing in between them as well so I have this situated here the lower wing and then the body of the plane and I am just going to tack weld that together right down in there Okay. 
Okay, now I've got the wings. Well, I got the bottom wing on. Top wing is cut. And I just got done cutting these four little pieces, which are going to go, ow, that one's hot. These are going to go on each, on each corner like that. If you can see it, like that. And then the top wing is gonna go on top of these. Might be a little tricky to weld those in, but I'll get it done. Okay, so I got this side, got these on. And like I showed you earlier, this wing is gonna sit up on top of those. This wing's gonna sit up on top of those like that. But I need to get this side done. So we're making a little progress here on the airplane. Not completely finished yet, but it's getting close. Uh, I got the wings on, got the wheels made out of washers, the legs for the wheels, and I'm sort of lucky I didn't burn myself on that. Uh, the legs for the wheels, all I'm using are, I had a bunch of these hooks left over from hanging stuff on pegboard, and I just cut off the straight pieces of them and use them for various things like the legs for the wheels. That's what I used for the braces between the, between the wings. The neat thing about these little things is you don't have to be real neat. I think part of the coolness about it is how they look after they've been welded together. It's just you got globs of weld here and there and it just gives them a little more character. So now I have to put this rear wing on, which this isn't what I'm going to use, but something, you know, back here. Put a wing across, put one across this way, and then one up like that. While I'm over here, don't forget about the license plate wall. Trying to make a license plate wall with plates from all over the United States, the world, including Canada. Also, over here is where letters, pictures, that kind of thing, if you send them in, that's where I will be hanging them up. So if you have a license plate or anything else for that matter that you'd like to send to the Fox Shop, the address is in the description below. So back to the little airplane, I'm going to make this rear wing, I'm just gonna cut a piece out of this metal, and then another piece for the little, the other little wing back here. And there you have it. One spark plug airplane with miscellaneous scrap pieces. It is still very hot back here. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not supposed to be perfect. It's, uh, it's junk art. So I am going to let this cool and see if I can come up with something else to make real quick. The hardest working dog in show business. Here's a, this is the first one I did. Did that a couple of days ago. And then the one I did today. Something different, a little fun to do, messing around down here in the shop. Really pretty simple to do. I held a lot of those pieces together with magnets and uh, and just welded them together on each one of those it took it took about an hour or so to make that was from cutting out the metal to welding everything together this really wasn't a how-to type of thing just like i said i'm just messing around down here in the shop and thought i'd make a couple spark plug airplanes it hasn't warmed up much i think it's up to 19 degrees now it's uh it's cold I do have some other ideas on things that I'm gonna make similar to these little planes. So if you do like this kind of stuff, I'm doing more, I can make videos on it. Leave me a comment down below. So hopefully you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll probably be back to truck stuff pretty soon. And we'll catch you next time. Bye bye. I'd like to love you, love you, I'd like to love you, night and day, if I may, may, may.